Hi, welcome to Tabla Talks. My name is Kuljit Bamra and I'm a composer, musician and producer. And in this episode, I'd like to discuss the idea of traditional beliefs versus contemporary beliefs. Now, um, I'm going to start off by telling you a story, so please bear with me for a couple of minutes. It is relevant. And this is the story of a young couple who just got married and they wake up um, after their wedding night. Uh, it's a Sunday and uh, the wife says to her husband, what, what would you like to do? And he said, I don't know, whatever. What would you like to do? And she said, well, I don't know. What do you normally do? He said, I don't know, what, whatever you want. <laughs> Let's do that. She said, well, you know, normally on a Sunday, we, uh, we, cook, we used to cook roast at home. He said, well, why don't we cook a roast? I'll help you. So um, he went out and bought a leg of lamb and uh, he was helping her in the kitchen, you know, the new husband impressing his wife. And, and he noticed she took the leg of lamb and um, chopped an inch off each end of the leg of lamb, threw those pieces in the bin and then began to put the, um, the, the meat into the oven. And he said, well, why did you just do that? And she said, do what? He said, you just cut off two bits of meat and thrown it in the bin. And she said, well, we, we've always done that in our family. And he said, but why? Isn't it a waste of meat? She said, well, no, it's, um, it, it, it's the way we've always done it. It, it works that way. And um, it, it, anyway, it gets the juices to flow more and it brings the taste. He said, well, fine, whatever you, whatever you say, I'll, I'll, I'll go with it. But I just thought it was a, a waste of meat. She goes, no, no, this is the way we've done it. And this is the way we'll always do it. He said, oh, no problem. Anyway, uh, a few uh, weeks later, um, the couple find themselves at um, the wife's mother's house and the new husband is impressing his mother-in-law in the kitchen and helping her on that Sunday cook a roast. She does exactly the same thing with a leg of lamb. She cuts off an inch off each end, throws those in the bin and then uh, the new husband says, well, you know, that's really interesting that you've done that. She said, well, done what? And he said, well, you, you know, your daughter does that as well. well she, Do what? He said, well, I don't know, you just you cut pieces of meat off the end of, and then throw it in the bin. I just think it's a, isn't that a waste of meat? She goes, no, we've always done it that way. We've done it that way for generations. And, um, and he said, but wh why? You know, he said, uh, well, I don't know. She said, it's just, it's the way the Smith, the Smith family have always done this. And um, it, it helps the juices to flow and it, it cooks much better. And uh, it, it just adds to the flavor. He said, well, that's really fine. I'm just, uh, I'll, I'll go along with that, you know. Anyway, cut a long story short. A few weeks later, they find themselves at the house of his wife's grandmother. And again, the new husband is helping his wife's grandmother in the kitchen. She gets the roast on the Sunday. She's about to put the leg of lamb in the oven. And he says, Grandmum, Grandmum, haven't you forgotten something? And she said, what, what, what have I forgotten? And he said, you've forgotten the Smith technique. Well, she said, what, what's that? What have I forgotten? He said, well, no, it's fine. You know, your daughter... Um, does this and your granddaughter does this. They, they cut the end off the, um, an inch off the end of the leg of lamb before they put it in the oven. And she said, oh my God, do they still do that? He said, yeah. She said, I only did that once because it didn't fit in the tray. Now, the point of that story is how people really fight ferociously for a tradition that sometimes they don't know the reason for it being there. Now, in the world of music, and I'm gonna use um, tabla as an example to demonstrate one example that I've come across. Uh, and as you may, know, may or may not know, I'm a self-taught musician, so I've never studied music uh, traditionally or formally. I just have an obsessive curiosity with things, and I want to know why, 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 all the time, uh, annoyingly so, I think. Now, uh, when I first learned to play the tablas uh, at the age of four or five, I was very intrigued by the fact that this, this black spot in the middle of this low tabla is not in the center. Now, as I grew up and studied physics at school uh, and then later on became an engineer, in my mind, if I was to place a spot anywhere on the drum, I would put it in the middle because I would say that it would be a symmetrical um, pattern on the drum. It would also help the waveform resonate better because this weighted compound would be at the place of maximum amplitude. Forgive me if I'm talking gobbledygook to you, but I just think it would be better in the middle. It would help make the sound of the drum better. So I met many, many tabla players and many, many tabla teachers 
and ask them this question, why is this spot not in the middle? It's in the middle on the other drum, on the smaller drum. It's not in the middle here. And the answer I got was always a version of, this is the way it's always been, and this is the way it will always be. And I said, well, why, why? And they said, because it sounds better. And um, I began to become more curious about this answer. And uh, I wanted to do a test myself. So what I did is I had a tabla made, especially for me in India, and I asked a tabla maker <laughs> to put the spot in the middle. Now, my spots on all my tablas are now in the middle because I just think it makes a better resonant sound. And the only answer I can think of for why the spot is not normally in the center, in the absence of all acceptable answers to me, I think the answer that really works for me is before these spots were made of a hard paste, this is a carbon paste that's put on in various layers, the tabla makers used to use dough, which is um, flour and water mixed. A sticky, you know, it's what you make um, chapatis out of, <laughs> atta, as we call it, um, is very malleable and soft. Now, I think the reason they placed this spot away was because when you do this particular strike, it would come off. The dough would come off. So they placed it away um, from the sliding area of the hand to stop it from coming off all the time. And when they eventually made this a permanent paste, nobody questioned why it was off center. And they just went with tradition and they went with the notions that were passed down by tradition and they believed it. I personally think they got it wrong. <laughs> so um, maybe you could have a think yourself about how some traditional values are preventing music from moving forward. I really believe sometimes if you love something too much and you hold on to it too tight, you can strangle it. <laughs> and I personally have a, a fear or a concern that if we get too preservationist about tradition, we can choke it and these beautiful drums will disappear completely from the face of the earth. What do you think? Mm -hmm.